Beer or wine? Uh, depends, but wine most of the time. Wine for me, definitely. Favourite film? Oh, Braveheart for me. Yeah, Gladiator. Legs, shaved or unshaved? Uh, unshaved. Shaved, Tokyo. Let's <laughs> go for the heat. Swim, bike, run, kid, run. Run. Bikes, oil or addict? Uh, oil. oil, yeah, best all around, mine. What's your strongest and weakest discipline? Uh, depends on the day, but I'm pretty even at all three. I think my weakest is probably still the swim. Yeah, the swim for me, uh, and my strongest, the run. Who's better on the bike? Me. Alistair, <laughs> unfortunately, just. Winter training, indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. Outdoor. Off season training, do you mainly run for long, slow stuff or do you keep the intensity? A combination of both. Starting out in triathlon, what's the kind of best physical starting point to have? Uh, yeah, good uh, swimming background, a good swim technique, and a, a good aerobic endurance engine. Be part of a swimming squad from a young age, uh, have good technique, and have lots of groups to cycle with. How much of triathlon is a mental game over a physical I think um, a lot of triathlon is, is physical. The best or the most physically fit athlete normally wins. Uh, mentally, you can get you yeah, a bit better, but you have to be very, very fit. Yeah, mostly, mostly physical. What motivation to maintain the strict training? I think it's just what you what you do. It's got to be part of your lifestyle. Um, and you've got to have a great bunch of people around you to train and then every so often when you don't fancy it you've, you know, you've got to motivate yourself and use that willpower to get off the sofa. And also set yourself a goal so if you don't fancy it you've got a race coming up or something you want to improve on so make sure you've got a goal that can be raced or anything. What do you do when you feel like you're in plateau in training? Uh, it's really difficult to know when you're hitting a plateau in training but um, ideally if you do you should mix it up, uh, do some different sessions um, and, and just change stuff around. Um, take it easy for a couple of days uh, and do the training that you enjoy and that you fancy for a few days rather than the training that you've got to do. What do you have for breakfast on race day? I have porridge with a bit of fruit and banana and some tea. Yeah, porridge, tea, toast. How do you go with pre-race nights? Uh, I've had lots of experience over the years and I, I tell myself all the hard work's done and now it's all about just going out and um, and racing. What's the biggest fish you've seen on a swim lake? Oh, I'm not sure. Not a very big one. I've, I saw dolphins when I was swimming around in uh, Hawaii, but not in the race. Yeah, I've not actually seen many big fish in a race. I think when we all dive in, we're scared in the way. I once I raced in the Sydney Harbour in 2011, and apparently there were sharks in there, but I didn't see any. If you weren't triathletes, what would you do for work? Well, I started studying medicine, so I'd probably be a doctor. And I think I'd be a history slash P teacher. Who would have the better online dating bio? Me, I'm more interesting. <laughs> I think Alistair's writer would be better, but I think my profile picture would be better. Who's longest in the shower? Alistair definitely, I'm a Yorkshireman, so much. It's been a while, he's always slow. <laughs> in every, every form of life. No long day. <laughs>